What's up guys, Mr. Olten here, and today we're gonna be talking about 12 mods that I and other people consider to be some of the best mods for Mass Effect Legendary Edition, for the time being. Now some of these mods are going to be pretty small, but in my opinion, they still improve the overall quality of life for all three games. And just a heads up, modding your game might break it, so be very careful of what mods you install and in what order. So before you start downloading and installing them, make sure you read the descriptions in each mod to see if there are mods that are not compatible with each other. The mods that I'm gonna talk about are all on nexusmods.com, and the mod creators usually put up a warning in the description. Now before you start installing these mods, make sure you download the ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager which is a great tool that allows you to quickly install most mods without any hassle. All right, so without further ado, let's go. Number one, the better camera mod. This mod does exactly what it says. It just provides a better camera experience. The biggest issues I've always had with Mass Effect is the very narrow field of view or FOV for short. For some reason, Bioware decided to make the remastered version of Mass Effect 1 even more narrow, probably to make the experience more immersive. And both Mass Effect 2 and 3 suffered from a general camera staleness, as you clumsily run into walls and roll into enemies because you didn't see them. Thankfully, this mod fixes that. You can download it for all three games, and you get the option of having a default 80, 90, 100, or 110 degree field of view. If you ask me, 100 and 110 goes a little bit overboard and can make you dizzy if you're not used to the fisheye effect. But 80 to 90 feels like a good medium. Number 2. Unlimited Sprint and Boost Duration Now this mod may seem a bit like a cheat, and it kind of is, but it's far from immersion breaking. It just lets you get from point A to point B a bit faster by letting you boost the Mako for an infinite amount of time. It also removes the limits to how long you can sprint. So for all of you who just want to speed things along, this mod right here is a must-have. And moving on to Mass Effect 2, we got a few more mods to choose from. Both Unlimited Sprint and Better Camera works for Mass Effect 2 as well, as I stated before. Number 3. One Probe All Resources. Here's another mod that may feel a little bit cheaty, or well, it's basically a cheat, again. But how many times have you been scanning planets for resources in every playthrough that you've done? Really, Commander? Probably a thousand times, right? Well, this mod removes the monotony of having to constantly scan the same planet over and over again by literally just handing you the resources with only one probe. The great thing with this mod is that it still needs you to go to the planet and click on it. So for all of you who still want a reason to read the planet description, there you go. Number 4. Skip minigames for LE2. Another quality of life improvement, this mod simply lets you skip the hacking minigames in Mass Effect 2 if you find them annoying after, I don't know, the umpteenth time of doing them. There. Simple as that. Number 5. Sheplu Appearance Consistency Project. This might seem like an odd one, but it's really not. Some of you may have noticed that Default Shepard's face takes on a strange orange hue in Mass Effect 2, which makes him look slightly odd. This mod simply reverts his skin tone to the one we saw in Mass Effect 1, making him look slightly more natural. This mod is also somewhat needed if you play as Default Shepard for the next mod in the list, which is... Number 6. Expanded Shepard Armory. This mod adds a bunch of armors for you to use in Mass Effect 2. These armors are imported from not only Mass Effect 1, but Mass Effect 3 as well, and casual clothes from Mass Effect Andromeda. The great thing with this mod is that it lets you swap out the helmets, so if you've ever just wanted to wear some of the coolest armor in Mass Effect but without the dorky headgear, there you go. Now I'm missing a bunch of footage here because I haven't found all of the armors in the game yet, but here, have some demo pictures. Number 7. ME2 LE Combat Remastered Now I didn't think I needed this mod until I tried it out. Just like the legendary version of Mass Effect 1, the LE2 Combat Remastered mod tries to rebalance a bunch of things that Bioware seemingly forgot to do for Mass Effect 2. This mod is especially great for anyone who felt that the combat suddenly took a step back in the second Mass Effect game, since Bioware put so much effort into improving the combat for the first game in the remaster. 
What we got here is an improved gunplay system where your weapons are stronger and actually feels stronger thanks to some improved gunshot sounds and the muzzle flash actually being in rhythm with the weapon firing. The enemies have also been rebalanced, where their accuracy is dependent on how fast Shepard is moving, if you're strafing a lot, and what sort of weapon the enemy uses. So for any of you guys who hates the laser accuracy of all the enemies in Mass Effect 2, here you go. Alright, so let's move to Mass Effect 3 then. And like before, unlimited sprint and better camera works for ME3 as well. Number 8. Expanded Galaxy Mod. Okay, so bringing out the big guns, this mod does a lot of stuff when it comes to quality of life. It also adds several new things to Mass Effect 3 that are entirely fan-made, like new stories and NPCs. And again, I'm missing the footage because I haven't been able to install it correctly yet. <laughs> Unfortunately, the team behind the mod has their work cut out for them as it will take some time to restore this mod for the Legendary Edition, so right now only a few basic functions from the original mod are available. I'll probably cover this mod a little more in depth in an entire video of its own in the future because there will be more stuff added to this mod, at least according to the creators. Number 9. Now to one of my personal favorites, the No Reapers and Unlimited Scan Range on Galaxy Map mod. Well, that's a mouthful. Anyway, similar to the One Probe All Resources mod, this mod just makes your scan pick up the location of every artifact in the system you're currently in while scanning with only one scan. It also removes those pesky reapers, so even if you still hear the classic reaper horn and the stressful chase music kick in, you can just sit back, relax, and pick up those artifacts without having to worry about them catching you. Neat, huh? Number 10. The Collector's Cabin. This mod is pretty cool. It adds a bunch of collectible items that you unlock after missions that you complete. These collectibles are then stored in your captain's cabin. Now, mine kind of bugged out for some reason, but as an example, after recruiting Javik on Eden Prime, you get this little Prothean beacon in the corner of your cabin. This mod is really a must-have for any of you guys who want to collect stuff. Obviously. And personally, I am looking forward to starting an entire playthrough with this mod installed from the start. Number 11. Anderson's Final Conversation Restored. Some of you guys might have missed out on this, but Anderson's conversation with Shepard at the end of Mass Effect 3 was actually supposed to be longer. This cut conversation shows even more of the paternal side that Anderson has to Shepard. And I'll never for the life of me understand why Bioware decided to cut this. Anyway, for all of you who have missed it, here it is. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You ever wonder how things would have been different? How our lives would be different if this hadn't happened? Sure. I never had a family, Shepard. Never had children. There'll be time enough for that now. <laughs> I... I think that ship has sailed. What about you? Ever think about settling down? Yeah. I like the sound of that. I'm not sure I'd be much good at it, though. Sure you would. I think you'd make a great dad. <coughs> uh-huh. Think how proud your kids would be. Telling everyone. Their dad... is Commander Shepard. I don't know about that. Mm. Not everything I've done is something to be proud of. Come here. I'm proud of you. You did good, son. You did good. 
Thank you, sir. Anderson? Number 12. The Trilogy Save Editor. Alright guys, we've gotten to the final mod. This one is my bread and butter mod and I've used it countless times in order to make my videos. This mod literally lets you customize the story of every game to your heart's content. Are you missing the Paragon points to tell Tally and Legion to stop arguing? Well look no further. Here you can literally just max out your Paragon meter to make sure you don't mess up that one very important conversation. You can also just manipulate the events of the game by changing history itself. You want to punch the reporter in the face and skip out on the political fallout? Well, just give Kalisa the old smack, then just open up the editor and abracadabra, it never happened. And that's it. These are the top 12 mods that I use, or well, try to use anyway. And I know that I've only skimmed the surface of all the mods that are available. So if you guys want me to cover any more mods in the future, just make sure to tell me and like the video so that I know. Also, what is your personal favorite mod for Mass Effect Legendary Edition? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a great day, guys. Mr. Holton, signing out.